Okay, uh, in this video, we're going to show how to find the center of mass. Suppose we have a uh, plane figure like this, and it was formed by joining two curves together. Uh, the equation for the top curve might be y equals f of x. And for the bottom curve, it might be y equals g of x. And the curve or the area, the boundaries of the area at the leftmost x boundary is A, and the rightmost boundary on the x axis is B. And we want to know in this in this plane figure here, where would all the mass be concentrated? And it, so to find that point, it has to have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And the equation is the x coordinate equals 1 over A. A is the area of our plane figure here. Incidentally, for these formulas to find the x value and the y value for the center of mass, this is assuming now that the density of our plane figure is the same throughout. So we're assuming uniform density. And the equation then is to find the x-coordinate for the center of mass. It equals 1 over a, and a is the area of it. And it's 1 over a integrating from a to b of x times f of x minus g of x dx. And the y coordinate is it equals 1 over the area integral from a to b of 1 half f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. And of course, to get the area for the figure, remember what we're doing is that we're considering, well, suppose we had just a rectangle here, and the width of it was dx, that dx times the height of the rectangle would be the area for that infinitesimally thin rectangle. And we want to add up the area of all these rectangles, starting with x equals a, and all the way across, as we're making more and more of them, adding up all those areas from x equals a to x equals b. So the general formula of the area for our figure would be the integral from a to b and to get this height here, it would be this height minus this height. So it would be f of x minus g of x. That's the height of our rectangle, and it has a width of d of x. So that would be the general formula for the area for that figure. And this is the formula for the x coordinate and how to find the y coordinate that will give us the center of mass. So let's see if we can apply this to a specific problem. Let's see. Suppose we have a curve so y equals the square root of x and y equals x squared. We want to find the region in between these two curves and then find out where is the center of mass in that region. So let's make a rough sketch of them. Um, it's pretty obvious that when this is 0, this one's going to be 0. When this is 1, this is going to be 1. So they're going to intersect at 0, 0, and 1, 1. But what will the curves look like? Um, well, we take a point in between, say, x equals 1 half. Then this would be 1 fourth. 
And here it would be 1 over the square root of 2. Well, obviously, this y value here, 1 fourth, is less than this y value here, 1 over the square root of 2. And, of course, this is a parabola form, so it's going to look something like this. If this is x equals 1, where the parabola goes something like this, and for the square root, it goes something like this. So, when one, at 1 half, for example, the x squared has a smaller value, the square root of x has the bigger value, so we know that the square root of x curve is the upper curve, and y equals x squared, that's the lower curve. And this is at x equals 1. So let's see. Uh, let's first say what would be the area for it. The area will equal the integral from 0 to 1 of the height of the big curve, that's this, the square root of x, minus the height of the smaller curve, that's that one, minus x squared dx. So, let's see, this is going to be x to the, this is x to the one-half now, so an integral is going to be x to the three-halves, divided by three-halves, x goes from 0 to 1, and we have minus w one-third, x to the one-third, x goes from 0 to 1. So, this is just going to end up being, putting 1 here, that's 1, put 1 in here, that's 1. So, the 2 thirds minus 1 third, so the area equals 1 third. And, the x coordinate now for our center of mass. The general formula is 1 over a, the integral from a to b of x times f of x minus g of x dx. So, here for us an x the x coordinate that will equal 1 over a or 1 over 1 third, so that will be 3. And here our x values will go from 0 to 1. And we have x times the square root of x, or x to the 1 half, minus x squared. dx. So let's see, this will be x to the 3 halves, so when we integrate we add 1, so it will be x to the 5 halves, so we have 3 times x to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, so we multiply by 2 fifths, and then we have minus, this will be 1 third x cubed times, no, yes, no, we we'll multiply here. This is already x cubed. This is 1 fourth x to the fourth times 3. So 3 over 4 x to the 4. Let's make sure x cubed will be add 1 x to the fourth divided by 4 times 3. Okay. x goes from 0 to 1. So here it's just going to be 1 1 of the 5 has is 5 has, 1 of the 4th is 4th and 0. So we're just going to have 6 fifths minus 3 fourths. And let's see, this will be 24 minus 15 divided by 20. And 24 minus 15 is 9, so our x coordinate looks like it's going to be 9 over 20. Okay, and now we need to find out for the y coordinate. Let's make some room for that. The x bar is 9 over 20. Make sure we have things labeled correctly. This is x, this is our y axis. And 
x bar is 9 over 20. Now let's find out what the y coordinate will be. Okay, and first of all, the general formula. The y coordinate for the center of mass. Again, assuming uniform density. And the y coordinate, that's equal to 1 over the area. The area was 1 third. And is the integral from A to B of one half the upper curve f of x squared minus the lower curve g of x squared dx so now for our particular problem then the y coordinate will equal 1 over a is 3 and we have 1 half here so we'll have 3 halves on the outside of the integral and then here we're still integrating from 0 to 1. That doesn't change. And this, for our problem, is the square root of x. And for our problem, that's x squared. So we have the square root of x squared. That will be x minus x squared squared. So that will be minus x to the fourth. Yes. So let's see. This will equal 3 halves times. This looks like this will be 1 half x squared. No problem for that. We have minus. Now it looks like that's going to be 1 fifth x to the fifth. And x goes from 0 to 1. So. Here we have this will equal 3 halves times, put one on here, 1 half minus 1 fifth. Oops, 1 over 5. And let's see, this is going to be 5 minus 2, uh, looks like we have 3 halves out here. 5 minus 2 is 3 tenths. So the y value for our center of mass, that also is equal to 9 over 20. So let's take our, all of our mass is going to be concentrated. If it was 10 over 20, that would be half weight here. So not quite halfway here, not quite halfway up there, but that would be our center of mass point then. Okay, um, but as you can see, it's just a matter of using what our formulas are, and of course we have to find the area of the, of the uh, figure in question. But if you go ahead and set a problem like that and just kind of follow it through, you shouldn't have any problem with them. Um, but that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can work some more problems.